have a runner, and uh, largely down to Mark Howard's uh, hard work, he's managed to find a bumper runner, trained by Sir Mark Prescott, in a Lingfield uh, all-weather bumper back in 1992. Aspirant finished third on debut, an even-money favourite in that Lingfield contest, ridden by Robert Bellamy. Runners on the way down, and just to the left of shot, with the white sleeves in the background, you might see Yorkist going keenly to post. Yorkist was something of a springer in the market with Skybet earlier in the day. There are 12 of them heading to the two-mile start here in the absence of Captain Clayton. And Dance to the Stars is hanging on to favouritism at the moment, but he's uneasy. Opened up at 11 to 4, sliding out to 100 to 30. As support comes on track for Yorkist from 9 to 2, down to 7 to 2. 14 to 1, down to 5 to 1 with Skybet earlier. Moscow Presence is at 9 to 2, with Newton Thistle at 17 to 2. Many Clouds on 10 to 1. Mykea is at 11s, with Miss the Boat at 14 to 1. Definitely Pip at 20 to 1 chance. Midnight Symphony and Fame again at 22 to 1. Watson is at 33s. And Fast Ruby the Outsider at 66 to 1. Thanks, Stuart. Just a footnote to the first race on the card. Strathaird was written by uh, Adam Nicholl for Andy Crook. The jockey got a two-day ban the 6th and 7th of March. The reason, not riding out his horse, which could have finished, could have finished fourth, uh, but didn't. So he got a two-day ban the 6th and 7th of March. Adam Nicholl on Strathaird in our first race. Right, Dance to the Stars. Uh, fairly easy to back this favourite at 100 to 30. High profile given the connections. 7 to 2 bar. Best backed horse in the race is Yorkist. Yeah, Dance to the Stars, uh, really well bred horse, being, being by Manger, um and the dam was a was a full uh, sister to Melenry, of course, won, won the ledger, King in Waiting, he was a jumper with David O'Meara, a really good pedigree, um, trained by some art press, good Tom O'Brien on board, big lengthy sort of horse. Um, really interested to see how he gets on uh, this afternoon. Yeah, we heard that there was money as well for one or two others. I know we mentioned Tim Vaughan's horse, Mr. the boat. That hasn't necessarily been backed, but uh, we'll watch how that one goes. Moscow presents. There was money for that earlier on by presenting. Yeah, and the stable won the race 12 months ago with e Ebenur. Um, the, the yard have, have had a really good season in every kind of race, but bumpers especially, 12th and 54 so far this year. Well bred as well, been by presenting. Uh, Donald's had a, a double on the card already, and there seemed to be a reasonable word out for the horse as well that uh, he's got plenty of ability. Yorkist, we know Mickey Hammond and Joe Colliver do well in this type of race, and uh, where they be. Uh, this is related to the likes of Racing Demon, that good horse of uh, Henrietta Knights, and Merry Gale as well. Yeah, the uh, the Irish chaser. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, good pedigree for him. He's, he's a gelding by Urban Ocean. We, must admit, don't know too much about him. Mickey had a couple of uh, original entries in the race. He's gone for Yorkist here, and he's had a he's had a decent season in Wump as well. A couple of winners already. Yeah, just given that breeding, though, you'd think maybe it'd be a longer-term prospect, but it must have been showing a bit of speed on the gallops, given the uh, the good money that's been for it. Oli Pez has got two in this. Number 12 is Micaiah. Uh, familiar colours, I think. Um, yeah. But, um, again, two in the race. Yeah, he's got two in the race, probably on jockey bookings. Brian Hughes is on Micaiah. Um, he's from a fa family that Ollie knows very well. He's a homebred horse. He's a half bullet to my arch, um, who's done very well under all sorts of codes for Ollie. He's also related half bullet to my Paris, who was a good horse himself. He was a six times winner. So he's, he's also got speed and stamina in, in the pedigree. He's got the two runners, Ollie. But I would have thought on uh, jockey bookings he would have been a number one. Yeah, you say speed in the. Uh pedigree and stamina, there's plenty of speed isn't there, definitely. Uh, Ferdy's horses often uh, come on for runs in races like this, he's got definitely Pip, Charlie Longston's got Newton Thistle, Keelan Wood's five pound claim always comes in handy in these bumpers, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, and, and Charlie's had an excellent season with his bumper horses as well, 11 from 37, good word around for him this morning as well, he's, he's by Erhard we, we saw what happened with his the yards runner earlier on the car, so that's a bit of a concern but a good word out for him. The other one I did like was Oliver Shields run a many clown He's a Trevor Hemmings horse. He's by Clouding, um, and the yard also have had a good season with the bumper horses. 23%. Mm. Bit of money for that one as well. Yeah, many clouds. That's 17 to 2 from 10 to 1 
all of his horses uh, going well enough. Uh, Newton Thistle, that's Charlie Longson's horse. He had Twim Sion Catty that uh, disappointed the other day, albeit behind that very good winner of John Ferguson's uh, market raising that beat Swinging Sultan. Uh, the winner looks very special, but Twim Sion Catty was a big disappointment there. Um, what about this Dance to the Stars then? Bred to be a star, um, just very quickly. You know, he's, he's bred to be a, a decent horse, and just the fact he's trained by Sir Mark Prescott is of real interest. He certainly is. Uh, it took a long time to come to hand, uh, it's worth bearing in mind, though. And he could end up back on the flat after this, his trainer said. The um, start is going over to his rostrum. Very informative race, you'd imagine. The five o'clock at Weatherby. So they're about to be called in. Lining up. They're off. This is the Weatherby Racecourse Family Sunday, 29th of April, Newcomers Standard Open National Hunt Flat Race. Over an extended two miles, Miss the Boat, Dance to the Stars, and on their inside, Moscow Presents are the first three to show, with Watson giving chase in a bright green jacket. After those is Fast Ruby from Midnight Symphony, Yorkist on the inside, is settled in the mid division in front of Many Clouds, Newton Thistle, and Fame again, and the last couple as they work their way through the first quarter of a mile are Mike Kia and definitely Pip. So making their way up the home straight, Dance to the Stars on the outside of Miss the Boat, disputing the running just in front of Moscow Presents on their inside, York is moving closer right up the inside, then it's Watson from Fast Ruby, Midnight Symphony, Fame again, and Newton Thistle, Many Clouds, Mike Kia, and finally, definitely Pip. Dance to the Stars is just in front of Miss the Boat with a full circuit of the racecourse in front of them, going into their first turn. Moscow presents on the inside. Dance to the Stars a bit awkward, not helped by Miss the Boat, also running rather green in front as they went into the bend and make their way down the hill. So these newcomers have gone through the first half mile or so, Dance to the Stars in the dark blue and white check on the outside of Miss the Boat in the stripes. Watson has moved up into third, a length off the front pair as they turn down the back. Yorkist has taken much closer order alongside Moscow Presents. Then Fast Ruby, Newton Thistle, who's racing in company with Midnight Symphony in the midfield. Fame again in a red jacket is next. And the last trio are Many Clouds in the Hemming Silks, Mike Keir in the dark blue, and finally definitely Pip in the green and white quarters. All in touch as they continue their journey down the back straight. Not quite at halfway, Miss the Boat has taken up the running on the inside of Dance to the Stars, then Watson and York is disputing third, followed through by Moscow Presents, then Fast Ruby, Newton Thistle in the red and blue Diablo with the yellow sleeves on the inside of Fame again, the next two, then Many Clouds, Midnight Symphony rather losing its pitch in front of Mykea, and definitely Pip is detached by three or four lengths as they work their way towards the end of the back straight. So they've got seven furlongs to cover from this point, and it's Missed the Boat, who shows in front of Dance to the Stars, then Watson on the outside from Yorkist in the black and white on the inside of Moscow Presents in a dark green jacket with a sheepskin noseband. Fame again trying to improve around the hoses. Mike Kia in dark blues making headway and Many Clouds is also improving. Midnight Symphony's drop back last now. Fast Ruby's also on the retreat under pressure as they race around the crown of the home turn. They've got five furlongs to go and it's Miss the Boat from Yorkist and Moscow Presents who've gone second in third approaching the home turn, Many Clouds and Fame again are fourth and fifth, Newton Thistle making an effort, then follows Mike here, Watson's dropped out tamely, Dance to the Stars has dropped out very quickly as the leaders make their way up the home straight. Into the last three and a half furlongs, Yorkist now brought to the outside of Miss the Boat to take up the running, Many Clouds coming in pursuit, then on the outside is Moscow Presents, Fame again is last of the leading group of five who've drawn right away, Yorkist from Many Clouds throwing down a big challenge on the outside as they enter the last quarter of a mile. They're beginning to outpace Miss the Boat. Fame again has stayed on into fourth in front of Moscow Presents, but Many Clouds has quickened through over a furlong out to readily draw clear of Yorkist, and Many Clouds is drawing right away in the closing stages under late Naspel. Many Clouds will win the newcomer's bumper, drawing white right away to win by a wide margin.
charge in and looks a nice prospect. Many clouds from Yorkist. Moscow presents in third. Fame again and encouraging fourth. Missed the boat was fifth. Definitely Pip stayed on best of the rest in front of Mike Keir, Newton Thistle and the other four including Dance to the Stars who beat one home were tailed off. First number two, many clouds in the colours of Trevor Hemmings. Oliver Sherwood's horse well backed at uh, decent prices, tens into eights. Uh, Yorkist heavily backed all day. Little keen in the early stages, came there travelling really sweetly, but in the end was well put in his place by many clouds. Third, number 11, Moscow presents, and fourth for the record, number nine, Fame again. Mr. Boat was prominent early on. That's right of shot. I think that's ultimately finished in fifth position. But many clouds, you'll pick this one out, Mark. Is that a paddock pick? Yeah, I'm not so sure about that, but he, he, he did it well, didn't he? It was impressive. He looks a really strong galloper. He's taken over from York. He's on the approach to the final furlong. He's put plenty of distance between himself. He, he looks a horse with, a, with a, a really bright future on that evidence. And the, the yard Oliver Shepard had a, had a really good season with the bumper horses. I think that's a sixth winner in this division. Um, number of first-time out winners. be really pleased with that performance.